grandmother was born there, my dad was born there, they both died there. My aunt and uncle were born there and died there. Big time upsetting me. 1881, the house was, uh, my uh, great grandparents got it. Martinez family. My grandfather come over from England to help build the train bridge and married my grandmother. He was a Sussex. She was a Martinez. So he married my grandmother and stayed here his whole life till he died in 1946. But I was trying to get along with the city to get my stuff out until I had to go in a hospital last week for a heart deal. And then the president said, they can't evict you for 30 days because of the coronavirus. I thought I had a little bit of time, but it didn't work. I guess the president has no authority. And they never let me get my stuff. They started bulldozing shit over. Well, it looked like it. They bulldozed and everything. I got air compressors there. The city's not afraid of coronavirus. They're fine as long as they're making money. They won't let me take nothing off the property. They said they'd throw me in jail. I'm a trespasser. So they're hauling it over to an impound yard where I have to go pay. I don't know how much they charge. And I don't have any money. I've been paying for years on this thing. I'm 80 years old. I'm just getting sick of it. I used to love this city, born and raised in it. I don't think they even have a plan. The plan was somebody wanted to buy it from me for over a million dollars, and all of a sudden the state owned it and the city owned it. For 10 years I've been saying, how come for 144 years nobody owned it, but now all of a sudden everybody owns it when somebody it's worth money. That's what it's about, dollars and cents. If you ain't got no dollars, they win. I've spent every cent I have. I don't have a dime left. No retirement. I'm just living on Social Security. Fighting them when I shouldn't even have had to.